All right, guys, I'm going to save you the trouble and headache of doing research to figure out what's the best, easiest way to debadge a truck. Uh, I want to debadge this brand new 21 Ram 3500, and I didn't see paying a shop several hundred dollars to do this when it's so easy. Um, so I've done all the research and homework for you. Online, there's people suggesting all kinds of different things, which I'm sure there's lots of ways to do it, but this way worked fast, clean, and no marks or scratches, or you can't even tell the decal was on the truck. Um, I've already done the ram signs on this side. You can't tell. There's no sense even trying to see it because you cannot tell. And I did my ram and 4x4 four four decals back here. You're not going to be able to tell at all. This works awesome. So I ended up using the 3M de-striping wheel. I didn't take a chance on getting one of the cheap, we'll just say Chinese ones. This is the 3M one. Basically, the instructions said that you're um, best off to put it in a drill and actually use like a cheese grater style file to get it concentric because when it comes out of the, the bag, it's kind of oblong and it's not circular. So I have a lathe, I just put it in a lathe and took a cut on it and made it circular. Um, you can use it up to 4,000 RPM, but the instructions say the optimum RPM range is 2,000 RPM. Just so happens that this DeWalt drill that I'm using on level three, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, goes to 2,000 RPM. And I've been using it about half to three quarter throttle. After you, um, Get it off. Uh, I'm just using isopropyl alcohol. It's 91% with the microfiber fiber towel and it comes right off all the residual. There's not even really any goo left, just the markings. So I'm just using some uh, fishing line. All I have, the strongest fishing line I have is 10 pound test. So I'll go grab this and I'll put my phone in my little drill press vise here. You can watch me do this. It's super easy. Uh, right for reference, my temperature out here right now is probably 70 degrees. I just pulled the truck out of the garage. It's probably 60, 60 degrees in there, so it's not super hot. I haven't pre-warmed any of these stickers up or these decals. And I've done it both ways where I use the fishing line, pulled the decals off or the you know plastic signs, and I left the sticker on and just use the wheel with the sticker on. And I also pulled off as much of the stickers as I could with my fingernail and thumb and ended up getting a blister, as you can see. And it didn't make a difference. So you're basically wasting your time trying to get the big foamy portion of the adhesive off. Just leave it on and you can use this striping wheel or de-striping wheel to get that off. So here's some 10 pound tests. These are three separate individual letters. Make sure you get on the outside of the foam don't get next to your paint and just do a seesawing action like i said this it's not even hot out and these things come right through that's one two three pull these off throw them in the trash or keep them if you ever want to put them on which i'm never gonna do that so as you can see we have the big thick Adhesive still there, the foam. Put my mirror in here. And the way you want to work this is you want the direction of travel to go against or in the same direction, the direction of the spin, sorry, in the same direction as your direction of travel. You don't want to go, you don't want to go like that. I guess I could have just left it like this. You don't want to go like that. Like that. All right. I keep it about half to three quarters throttle and I try to keep it perpendicular so I'm not using the corner and I'm just going up and down as I'm moving forward. I can see that I've got most of the, the stuff off. You can go a bit one more time slower. For sake of time, I'm not going to do every single one. I'm going to clean this up for you to show you how well this works. 
So I'll take my microfiber, get some isopropyl on there. I'll just wipe off the big stuff first. And I don't know if you can tell, but there's some that haze residual stuff. Make sure I got this back to where you can see. This is alcohol. That's it. There isn't a streak or nothing left. You can see that. That's from the, the alcohol there. Gone. That's how you do it. So, uh, Isopropyl, 3MD striping wheel. That's what mine's looking like, after, looking like after about four badges. And of course, go over it, go over it with some uh, wax afterwards. All right, there you go.